Hello everyone, welcome to learning screen tutorial. And in this tutorial, we will learn how to create this smoke effect in Photoshop. So without wasting a time, let's jump straight into the Photoshop. We will start by opening this image of candle. If you want to follow along, you can download this image from the link in the description. So the first thing that we are going to do is create a new empty layer and then select the brush tool. Make sure your foreground color is set to white. Float 100%. Let's decrease the brush size. Now draw a basic line of how smoke reacts. You can even draw a straight line, but I will keep it like that. Alright, here comes an important step for a smoke effect. Go to the filter menu, choose blur gallery, and then path blur. And make sure this preview option is checked on. Well, a path is automatically set in the image with two endpoints and it's this path that's going to determine the direction of the smoke. What you have got in between are the ability to move and add points, change and manipulate the way of this smoke move. I can even add multiple points. And here I'm trying to create something like they are kind of going on an S corp shape but still our smoke effect is not looking realistic and effective. So all I need to do is just increase the speed, set a value that looks good to you. Here we go. And I can also come to these points and adjust them whenever I want. I think it looks nice. So we are just going to accept that for now. We're going to press OK. And that's just going to take a second while it loads up that path blur. And here we go. Let's take a move tool and adjust its position. Here I'm pressing Ctrl T or Command T on Mac for free transform tool and I'm doing some scaling, flipping and rotating. Alright, accept the transformation. So now I can also create another same smoke effect to make it more dense and organic. So create a new layer, take a brush tool, draw a line etc. So it's again exactly the same step that I did before. So I will fast forward this. There we go, that's how you create a simple smoke effect. The best part of this method is this smoke effect is totally transparent, there is no any blending mode applied. Now let's move on to our next example where we are going to create little different and complex smoke effect. I'm going to open up our second image which is this butterfly image. Before creating any smoke effect, I want to make this butterfly a little bit more cool and glowing. So the very first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out this butterfly. So I'm just going to use pen tool. We are going to start here on the wing and start making path around the subject. There we go. Now to convert the path into a selection, just right click and choose make selection. And then click OK. Now press Ctrl J or Command J on Mac to duplicate the selection. Next, I want to make this background little more dark. So select the background layer first. I'm going to add a new adjustment layer called brightness and contrast. Let's decrease the brightness all the way down to minus 100% and increase the contrast. Now I'm going to add another adjustment layer on the top of our butterfly image and that adjustment layer is hue saturation. Decrease the saturation to minus 100%. Now go ahead and select the butterfly image which is layer 1 and then I'm going to invert this butterfly image by going to image menu, adjustment and then invert. Now I am going to duplicate this layer 1 and go to the filter menu and in the stylize select find edges and again I am going to invert this layer as well. Alright, let's add some glowing effect around the edges. So I am going to this layer style option and select inner glow 
Here I am going to increase the opacity to 65% and increase the size to around 80 pixel and then hit OK. Alright, now let's add some color to our image. Select the top adjustment layer and add another hue saturation adjustment. And make sure this colorize option is checked. Increase the saturation to around 95%. And I'm going to change the hue until I get something blue and vibrant color. Alright, we added a glowing effect and color to the butterfly. Now it's time to create a smoke effect. For now, I'm going to hide these two adjustment layers and create a new blank layer on the top of this butterfly image. And I'm going to rename it and call it smoke. Now take a brush tool and start drawing some and start drawing some simple lines like this this is going to be our baseline safe for our smoke effect all right now let's go to the filter menu blur gallery and path blur i'm making sure this preview option is on i'm going to adjust the path and the direction according to the smoke flow and of course we are not limited to just the one path. I can put another path on here if I want to and let's create another path here and keep creating path like that. Like we did in the previous example, we add points, change and manipulate them. And of course if you want to see the magic, let's increase the speed. looks really nice to make this smoke effect little more realistic what i'm going to do is select the smoke layer and duplicate it by pressing ctrl j on window or command j on mac and next press ctrl t or command t to bring the pre transform control and scale it down and then this layer, we are going to put a blur on it. So we are going to go to filter, blur and Gaussian blur. You want to give it just enough blur to actually blend it with the smoke effect. Alright, and here we go. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and I hope you can use this method in your own creative project. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next tutorial.